Hey, hey, it's Dana the Gypsy Psychic. Are y'all ready for another message? Come on in, get comfortable, put your feet up, get your blanket, get your pillow, get you something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to, put in the earbuds, kick back and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. If you're new to the channel, it's going to work the way that it always works. I'm going to shuffle and pray. I'll lay out at least 15 cards. I'm going to talk about it as I clarify it and sew together a story. Okay, now let's jump in and see what these cards have to say today. Hey there, Pisces. It's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Yay! How's everybody doing out there? How's the water feeling these days, Pisces? Huh? Does it feel good? Not too cold, not too warm. Just right. Right, Pisces? Right on. Well, let's do some, woo, look at that. Trying to flip out the tower. Pisces, what is happening with y'all? How are things going? We're gonna do we're gonna do a throwdown for Pisces. Let's throw some cards and see exactly what it is that the Piscean needs to know and understand, right? General reading, of course, nobody's gonna know their real story unless they have their own cards read. So this is kind of just for like shits and giggles, Pisces, okay? Entertainment purposes only. The world. You make the decision how it is going to fit into your life, if at all. So let's throw down. Let's see what the cards have to say for Pisces today. I am a Taurus sun. This sucker keeps wanting to come out, man. The devil. I am a Taurus sun. I'm a Pisces moon, Pisces rising, and Pisces Venus. But I'm a Taurus sun. However, I have a vested interest in whatever it is that these cards say because I, too, and Pisces. So let's do it. Let's see what they have to say. Give me a second to channel and I will uh, I will uh, give you the message. All right, let's do it. Spirit, source, universal energy. I have the collective of Pisces with me. And Spirit, Pisces wants to know what you know. What do you know about the particular Pisces that this message is for? And what does that Pisces need to know about themselves, their lives, and their futures? What's coming towards the Pisces? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate the coming situations and circumstances of their lives for their very best and highest good? Please tell me where the stopping point is. I will cut three times and I'll pull straight from the top. Please give me the eyes to see it, the ears to hear it, and the words to share it. Where is the stopping point for this oh, right there, particular Pisces? All right, Pisces, here we go. Ready? Let's go. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. Bottom of the deck. Woo, the lovers. Look at that right out the box. And the two of cups, spiritual union. There's that devil card, temptation with the devil. The five of pentacles and intuition. All right. So these guys, what's on the bottom of the deck? They're Pisces. The lovers, the two of cups, temptation financial and material changes, and intuition. All right, these are going to play an important part in what's about to come out in the rest of these cards. All right, a few things you need to know about me before we get started. I have a propensity to be inappropriate. I probably will swear, and I may or may not smoke my vape on camera. And if any of that bothers you, the waters are just too rough, Pisces. Go in, go in a different direction. Swim away. Okay. Other than that, if uh, we're cool with each other, I'm going to, I'm going to give you, uh, a, a hopefully an extraordinary message according to those cards on the bottom of the deck. All right. You guys got to cut me some slack. See these hands right here. Look at these hands. See them. Um, I did a project a couple of days ago and, uh, it, it, it just simply won't come off. So, so there you go. All right. First card out, Pisces. Woo, woo. The sunshine, the sun, happiness, success, vitality. Oh, these cards are uh, 
Gosh, I don't even know what these cards are called here. Let's see. This is the Psychic Tarot Oracle Deck by John Holland. Okay, and they're all supposed to be meant to re be read in the upright. So our root cards will all be in the upright and the clarifying cards will be however it is that they want. I personally prefer reversals, but that's just me. All right, the universe. Wonderful. This is the closure of one cycle, the beginning of a note of a new cycle. Disruption with the tower that was also trying to come out. And stand your ground with the seven of wands. Interesting. Interesting. Awareness with the magician. Nice. Authority with the emperor. Look at all of these major arcana. Woo, and another one. Balance with uh, justice. I do believe balance is justice. The Two of Swords, Mental Conflict. Rejoice and Celebration with the Three of Cups. Destiny, a Turning Point with the Wheel of Fortune. The Six of Cups, Memories of Love. And the Fulfillment of Wishes with the Nine of Cups. Wow. And then I think we're going to pick up again, right? So we got, well, we'll just put these off to the side. So Suffering and Silence. Partnerships and Alliances, Recognition and Reward, Moving On with the Six of Swords, and Love Begins with the Ace of Cups. Wow, look at that. The Eight of Cups and the Fool. Brand new beginnings. Brand new journeys. Wow. All right. And the rest of it is just, it just keeps repeating. I don't know if it works like that for anybody else, but it does just keep repeating. Interesting, though. Let's see what we got, just out of curiosity. So, Sacrifice, Trapped in Fear, which goes to that Two of Swords right there, right? Heartache and Loss. And then Positive Movement Forward, Triumph with the Chariot, Wisdom with the Hierophant, and Transformation with Death. Look at that. That's crazy. All right. We will deal with these when we get to the end of this reading, and then we'll talk about those cards on the bottom of the deck. So let's break this down and make some sense out of it for everyone. All right, we'll clarify with these ones. All right, all right, you guys, let's see what all this means. So the sun, Ooh, you hear that? Can y'all hear that thunder? I hope you can. I hope it was caught on the uh, camera because, man, it is so powerful. Boom. Boom. As a matter of fact, Pisces, this is why you get your reading right now here today because I went out to go see my horse and I got rained on. That's also why I'm not on camera. So I came home and I thought, well, heck, let's do a Pisces reading. So here we are. All right. So the sun, first card out, sets the tone for everything everything to the full brand new beginning brand new journey brand new direction the two of cups in reverse was behind the fool so we'll make sense of that as we go here all right well maybe we'll make sense of it right now the emperor in reverse with that two of cups in reverse okay what else what else what else oh the seven of swords too Wow, betrayal, deception. Okay, so the path, the purpose, the fool, brand new beginning, brand new journey, the world card, a turning point, the closure of one cycle, the beginning of a new cycle, and the devil in reverse, talking about releasing limiting beliefs. Releasing limiting beliefs, look at that, to the five of pentacles, and leaving something in the cold, maybe? Disruption. Why? Why the tower? What's the disruption? What is happening? What is happening here with Pisces? The seven of wands. See, this is the seven of wands right here in the upright. Stand your ground. Seven of, seven of wands in reverse to the tower. Talking about um, overwhelmed. Giving up. Sometimes it's about overly protective. Overly protective. Look to the queen of pentacles. Okay. Okay. So, disruption, overwhelmed, Queen of Pentacles. Who is this Queen of Pentacles right here? And why is she present? What is going on with this Queen of Pentacles and disruption right here? Look at that. I almost flipped these back over. 
Eight of Pentacles in reverse, unmet expectations, the King of Wands in reverse, egocentric, self-centered, and then the Tower on top of that. Wow. Wow, wow, wowzer. All right. Okay, so we got double whammy towers here. Okay, tower, tower. All right. It's, it's the universe, though, said, and the fool and the sun. Um, why are these towers here? Messages. Okay, we'll bridge those. Messages, information, communication. Is that what the tower is? Is the tower an implosion or is the tower the crumbling inside of the Pisces? What exactly are we talking about in the tower energy? You know what? I feel they're telling me I need to move on. So I'm going to leave that. We may come back and address that if it doesn't make sense in the rest of this. But I'm going to focus on the magician right here. Spirit, so we have the magician awareness. Be aware. Be aware of what you're manifesting. Be aware of what is manifesting. Your mind, obviously, with the circle around the, his crown chakra, right? His mind. You must be careful what you think about because what you think about comes about, whether you like it or not. Whether it's in your best interest or not, what you think about comes about. You can create a shit show super easy in your life by not even trying imagine what you could get accomplished if you really put your mind to it. Enter. All right, Pisces, this is what's going on, okay? All right, this is what's going on. All right, all right, all right, okay, all right, Ooh. all right. Yes, okay, the sun. First card out. So it's the tone for everything. Happiness, success, vitality. All right. It is the path to success. It's where you want to go. It's what you want in your life. Okay. Major Arcana, Spirit speaking to you. The path to happiness, success, and vitality. To the fool. Brand new beginning. Brand new journey. Um, go in this direction. Okay. Okay. What I asked was this about, okay? And it said, two of cups in reverse, unviable relationship, the emperor in reverse, egocentric, self-centered, out of control, to the seven of swords, and always trying to get away with something, okay? So at some point, there was a person, place, or thing, some kind of situation or circumstance in your life that was an unviable relationship of some sort, business, money, home, family, love, okay, an unviable relationship of some sort, the emperor in reverse, because somebody was self-centered, egocentric, and only had their best interest at heart. Someone was out of control of themselves, okay, to the seven of swords, and they were always trying to get away with something, some kind of lying, cheating, stealing, okay, all right, that's going to make some sense to you in a minute, all right? So that's kind of the angst that we are projecting from, all right? To the sun, happiness, success, and vitality, the path of happiness, success, and vitality in your life to the fool is a brand new beginning and a brand new journey to the world card. This cycle of your life is over and a new cycle is about to begin, Okay, to the magician in reverse. Magician in reverse talks about, sometimes it talks about manipulation, but it also talks about an inability to manifest, and it also talks about your untapped potential. Okay, so inability to manifest an untapped potential. I want to ask about that, please. Can you tell me about this magician in reverse? Is this in the, is this, what is this magician in reverse? What is this? What is the magician in reverse? The seven of wands. Challenge, defending yourself. I still don't get it. What is the magician in reverse? Judgment, decision, and the page of swords in reverse. All talk, no action, undelivered promises. All right. Okay. 
Thank you for that. So, there is a path in your life that you should choose as we get to this two of wands right here. There is a path in your life that you should choose, okay? And there is a situation that is going to present itself through some communication, okay? Okay? The magician in reverse that is going to block your manifestation of the path that is in your best and highest good, okay? Seven of Wands, um, challenges, um, defending yourself, um, being guarded, standing your ground, valor. Uh, I, I would venture to say that this is about standing your ground, okay? Because there is information that is coming into you from someone that you used to be in connection with but are not anymore. Okay. All right. Judgment. Um, use good judgment. Use good discernment. Um, make good decisions in this situation. Page of swords in reverse because it's all talk, no action and undelivered promises. The universe, which follows the sun and the fool. The universe is the world card. It says that it is time to move forward into the next chapter of your life. It's a card about coming to completion, coming to completion and fulfillment of a life cycle, a phase of your life. And it's time to keep going in that direction. There's a brand new beginning, a brand new journey, and it is the path to peace, happiness, and vitality in your life. The devil in reverse. All these major arcanas, Pisces. The devil in reverse. Release your limiting beliefs. What are your limiting beliefs? Well, the devil in the upright is an attachment that is a restriction to your growth. What are the limiting beliefs? That this has changed. That this person or this situation is going to manifest the way that you want it to, want it to manifest. Use good discernment. It's all talk, no action, and undelivered promises. Release your limiting beliefs. What are those that anything could be different? Five of Pentacles. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. To the King of Wands. The King of Wands represents you having your eye on the prize. You understanding that you are about to transition big time. This whole reading ends with the death card. You are about to transition to step over the Hierophants in the, in the middle of this reading. Talking about wisdom, growth, the, the full quantum leaps. You are at the threshold of a massive turning point in your life, Pisces. And along comes this schmuckaroo from the past. Uh-huh. It's true. It's true. The Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords talks about bringing it to an end, ending it, ending it to the Five of Pentacles and leaving it alone. To the Two of Wands and focusing on your future. Also, a little detail here is, is that for whoever this is hitting for, this person killed you. Okay, this person broke you and left you in the cold. And the Two of Wands says, focus on the future, don't focus on the past. Y'all, we're really never supposed to go back to the past. There's nothing wrong with making amends with the past, but we are not supposed to go back to the past. But nevertheless, keep looking into the future. What's going on here? Okay, it's kind of like a backward story. What's going on? Well, disruption. There's a tower headed to you. There is a disruption in the path that you are supposed to be going in your life about to come in. What's this about? Well, the Prince of Swords. There's some kind of communication that's about to take place in your life, Pisces. It is. It is, it is, it is. The Seven of Swords says, stand your ground. Stand your ground, stand your ground. Why? Seven of Wands in reverse, because you're going to be overwhelmed, hence the disruption of the tower, when this communication comes into you. Okay? All right. 
Let me get my card straight here. Okay. Okay. When this communication comes into you, why? Again, the tower. You have the tower three times in this reading, Pisces. Okay. Why stand your ground? Why are you going to be overwhelmed? Because of the disruption that this communication brings you kind of makes your whole everything crumble. Because you're on track, you're going in the right direction, you're learning, you're growing, you're about to cross over into something bigger and better. And then boom, here comes communication from this person from your past. Interesting. Okay, then what? Well, I asked again what the tower was about and they reiterated it with the Knight of Swords again. Communication is coming towards you. The fool, this communication wants you to go in a new beginning, in, in a new direction and have a new beginning. But unfortunately for them, this isn't their reading, so they have no jurisdiction over these cards. This card for you says, keep going, keep going in this direction, new beginning, new journey, keep going in the direction. Why would you stop for a tower? Don't stop for a tower. There is no foundation here. It's all talk, no action, undelivered promises. The foundation wasn't there before. The foundation will not be there this time. Keep going. The Nine of Pentacles in reverse because this is a waste of your time. Mm -hmm. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Remember the unmet expectations from last time? King of Wands in reverse. Remember the unmet expectations from last time from the egocentric, self-centered person that you were dealing with? Uh-huh. All talk, no action, undelivered promises to the Queen of Pentacles. You know your worth now. You know your worth. You see your worth. Maybe they, for the first time ever, see your value, but it doesn't change who they are. Interesting. You know your worth. If you don't know your worth, you better take some inventory of your worth because you are on a path to greatness, Pisces. And then all of this shit comes up because of some kind of communication. And, it, and it's threatening to take you off course. Okay? Okay. Awareness with the magician. Be aware of what you're manifesting in your life. Because mm -hmm. it's right beneath these cards, right? Which tells me that you've been doing some work. You've been doing some work. You've been listening to what the old gypsy psychic's been telling you. You've been clearing up some of those childhood issues. You've been finding your peace. You've been connecting with your intuition, and you are on the right path. You're headed in the right direction. You are aware of, of life. You are seeing things from eyes that you cannot unsee things from. You are becoming enlightened with the sun card. You are on the right path. So be very careful what it is that you're manifesting because where your thoughts go, your reality becomes. And when this happens, what you're going to have the propensity to do is the whole, well, maybe it's changed. Maybe they're not the same anymore. Maybe they realize my value and now they're going to act differently. Use good judgment because it's all talk, no action, and undelivered promises. Be aware of what you're manifesting in your life. What do you truly want? What do you truly want in the Hermit energy? This is all so many major arcana, Pisces. This is spirit speaking to you. Awareness. Be aware of what you're manifesting. Let's sit down and talk about this in the hermit energy. Let's do some soul searching and some introspection. What do you want from your life and your future? What do you want? What do you want your life to be like? What kind of relationship do you want? Because whatever this was back over here, you didn't want didn't want it before, why do you think you're going to want it again? Soul searching, introspection, the King of Cups. You can either manifest the King of Cups, a mature, grown love, someone who is honest and fair about their emotions, someone who is in control of the way that they feel and they are... Uh, 
mature and just grown in their emotions? Or do you want a hit them and quit them kind of experience? Yeah, I want I want the King of Cups, but I'm willing to have the hit them and quit them experience in the meantime. Don't work like that, Pisces. It doesn't work like that. Mm -mm. You want to share the essence of your energy with the hit them and quit them? The universe is going to have to pull back on you and let you have your way because they cannot intervene in your free will. But they're trying to tell you that you are on a destined course in your life. And this old stuff coming up from your past is going to take you off course if you're not very careful to the Four of Swords. Contemplate, reevaluate, and come to terms with the grief, the sorrow, and the pain that this relationship brought you last time. Okay? Why? What's this beautiful thing you have in front of you? Why are they saying circumvent this, this, this pariah from the past? Well, the Hierophant, I'm sorry, the Emperor, the Hierophant's in my hand. The Emperor, okay? This is what's coming to you, Pisces. Uh-huh. The Emperor. The Emperor is um, what you've been manifesting in this Magician card. This is your person. This is what is being formed for you in the stars. Don't let this thing stop you from getting it. Okay? The Hierophant. Commitment. Marriage. Most importantly, the spiritual message for you is growth. It's wisdom. It's wisdom in your beliefs. It's wisdom in your identity. It's growth in your identity. It's knowing who you are, what you want, where you want to go, and not willing to take a hit it and quit it in exchange for what it is you've been working so hard to manifest. This situation that is in your future, this turning point in your destiny right below it with the Wheel of Fortune, that's what you are on the path to. Look, the sun, the same path. You are on the path to happiness, success, and vitality. You are about to score, Pisces. You're about to score. Balance. Trump 11, this is justice. Honesty, truth, fairness. Your truth, always in your best interest. Accountability for your journey. Justice. What's in your best interest? Your justice for doing what? Well, for, for, for staying course. Your reward for staying course. Yeah, look, the Nine of Pentacles. Your reward for standing in your power. Your reward for bringing the past once and for all to a culmination and knowing your worth. The Empress in reverse. Not reverting back to that comfortable place where you are unaccountable and out of control. It is strange. That is a comfortable place, isn't it? It's nice to just be someplace where you don't care about consequences and you just you just do whatever the hell it is that you want to do. I mean, it, there is something appealing to that. But it's also a place of being out of control of yourself, your life, and your future the empress in reverse creative block don't create here stop creating here don't create here justice the queen of pentacles and the world because you know your self-worth at this particular point in your life just like this queen of pentacles because you know your self-worth it is time for you to close out whatever appealing thing that this person used to hold for you and it's time for you to start seeing through the eyes of the queen of pentacles mm, she's intimidating that queen of pentacles right i mean she she like owns shit she just owns shit she just does i mean look at her check her out she just owns it sitting on her throne 
Huh. All of the goodness that life has to offer at her fingertips. She knows her worth. And because you know your worth, it's time to move forward. It's time to get your justice, your reward. Mental conflict with the Two of Swords to the Four of Cups. Mental conflict, Two of Swords, crossroads in your mind. Four of Cups in reverse is emotional apathy or emotionally stubborn. Crossroads in your mind, apathetic. The Tower, again, third time, implosion. The King of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands. Interesting. So what this is saying is that the crossroads that you're at in your mind, which is why these cards are all warning you not to go in this direction, in your humanness, if you dip out of your spirituality and step back into your ego, into your humanness, right? Your mind is going to start telling you four of cups in reverse, emotionally apathetic, right? Your mind is going to start telling you, oh, whatever, you know, yeah, it was what it was before, but maybe it's changed. Maybe it can be different this time. You are emotionally apathetic to the truth of the tower, right? Emotionally, you're, you're shrugging it off. You're like, yeah, whatever. So it was a shit show, but you know, maybe King of Pentacles, maybe he can be my King of Pentacles. Maybe she can be my King of Pentacles. Maybe this is where I'm going to find some kind of success. Ten of Pentacles. Maybe I can find my security and build my future here. I wanted to do that so bad in this situation in the past, and now I have another opportunity. I have an opportunity before me to throw away everything that I have been working on to do a 50-50 crapshoot as to whether or not this person is real or not real, whether this person has grown or not grown. These cards are telling whoever this is hitting home with that this person is all talk, no action, filled with betrayal and deceit and still as egocentric and self-centered as they always were. To the Ten of Wands, you're about to create a huge burden for yourself. A huge burden. Stop struggling with that and understand that you are about to step into something amazing. The Three of Cups, getting together, getting together, um, enjoying each other's company. No, 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 I take that back because guess what? The Justice and the Emperor right here, right? Justice again, your Justice, Two of Pentacles, when you balance this out and prioritize this within yourself, your justice, again, your reward for knowing your self-worth and growing and learning and expanding, okay, your justice is the Three of Cups, the ability to become divinely orchestrated with this person right here, with the Emperor, commitment, and happiness, Okay? Because this is your destiny. This is the turning point. This is your destiny right here. You will be the Queen of Cups to the King of Cups that you have been manifesting. But this thing from the past is not it. The world. Close her down. There's a new cycle. It's like the second or third time the world's been here. Third time. Three towers, three world cards. I mean, it's almost like yin and yang. It's almost like opposition, right? Do you want to continue to live in the same damn cycle? I mean, you're ready. It's ripe. It's right there. You are ready to step into a brand new, uplifted, leveled up phase of your life. And you will be joined with the King of Cups to your Queen of Cups. Right? Right? Do you want that? The hangman, ask yourself that. Do you want that? What do I want my future to look like? 
take a step back, reevaluate the situation, and come out on the other side with a new perspective, the Three of Pentacles, because there is a relationship opportunity that you don't even see in your future in a reciprocal give and receive and appreciative situation. The Six of Cups, stuck in the past. Memories, family, home, nostalgia, memories. To the Nine of Swords, all caught up in your head about it. Anxiety and despair about this situation from your past. The Six of Wands, the way to have victory, progress, and success over the situation, judgment, is to use good, good, good judgment. Be discerning. This card is about a rebirth. It's judgment day, and this is a rebirth, right? This this rebirth or this, this birth is the transformation that's about to take place in your life. The sun, it's going to lead you to the path of happiness, success, and vitality. There's Pisces struggling with this big, huge, emotional, gigantic struggle between that which they know to be true and that which they do not want to accept as the truth. What don't you want to accept is the truth with those cards right there? Mental conflict that maybe kind of, sort of, even though you could build a future. No. No. Nine of Cups. Your wishes fulfilled, your comfort, your happiness, your satisfaction in life. Nine of Swords is not found here. The Three of Wands partnerships and alliances to the three of pentacles, recognition and reward. What you want comes from moving on from this, moving on from this. When you move on from this because of your self-worth, because of your growth, because you can't unsee what you've seen about how your life has changed, how you have worked hard to change your life, New love begins. Yep, new love begins. But you have to 110% completely and totally emotionally withdraw yourself from the hit it and quit it situation. Boom. For the fool again, second time for the fool. Third time. Is it the third time for the fool? Brand new beginnings. Brand new journeys. Got the whole world at your feet in that card, Pisces. The whole world at your feet. The hangman. Look around, man. Pause, surrender, and let go. Eight of swords of the thoughts. Three of swords, grief, sorrow, and pain. Of the heartache and the grief. And the imprisonment of your mind. Positive movement forward, movement, action, change. Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is about compounding your lessons from the past so you can create a better future. Positive movement forward. That's where your life needs to go, not back to this past person. Triumph with the Seven of Trump. This is the chariot. Put in the self-control, the willpower, the determination to do what needs to be done so they can take you where you need to go and not where your humanness wants you to go. Have the wisdom to discern the difference. And there will be a massive transformation of your life. There will be death to the old and birth to the new. You are about to, to, you're about to hit on something big time, Pisces. And whatever this is for you from your past is not it. The high priestess, intuition. Follow it. Listen to it. Five of Pentacles, it will save you. The devil, temptation, it will save you from making a bad decision. Two of Cups and the Six of Trump, and it will point you 
in the direction of spiritual union and harmony in a significant relationship in your life. Whether it be love and romance, work, money, and career, friendship, whatever. It doesn't have to be some big, huge romantic thing. It can be anything for anyone. But the path is right in front of you, Pisces. You're about to go through this portal and then boom, the phone rings or the text comes in. It's like, hey, Pisces, what's up? What's you been doing? Yeah, just got out of rehab. I'm looking good these days, feeling good, not drinking no more. You want to hit it up? Mm hmm. But it takes a lot more than that for someone to have a transformation. It's all talk, no action, and undelivered promises because the, the threads that this person is sewn from are still the same threads. They're just not drunk anymore <laughs> or, or, or whatever anymore. Still the same threads, though. Just dyed a different color. Don't fall for this. Keep going. Say your piece. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yep, I know I'm the shit. Gotta go. Bye and carry on to manifest what it is you truly, truly want for your life and your future. I hope this helps someone. Namaste.